Of all the products I've reviewed as of late, this is one of the ones I've been most excited for. Since getting the iPad Pro and trying to establish a video editing workflow with the extra large tablet, I've run into a few bottlenecks. The most obvious bottleneck has to do with transferring video from an SD card to the iPad Pro's flash storage. All of the dongles that I had available were the USB 2.0 variety, so transfer speeds were horrendously slow when trying to get 4K videos from my Panasonic GH4 to my iPad Pro. Fortunately, the iPad Pro does support USB 3.0, which results in a much faster file transfer experience. It was just a matter of Apple releasing an accessory like this one that supported the extra throughput. Of course, I'm talking about Apple's just launched update to its Lightning to SD card reader. The dongle looks very much like the previous version of the reader that debuted back in 2012, but the late 2015 update has USB 3.0 support in tow. How is the experience when transferring large files to the iPad Pro with this new reader? Should those of you invested in a video or photo workflow consider dropping the $29 asking price for the updated version? The answer to the latter question is an unequivocal yes. If you regularly find yourself transferring videos and photos to your iPad via SD card, then you should absolutely invest in this updated camera reader. I will say it's difficult to garner exact stats when transferring files to the iPad because it lacks the apps that allow for such measurement. That said, it's readily apparent and quickly noticeable how much faster the USB 3.0 enabled reader is. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to perform a test. I'm going to import a three minute, 52 second video that's 2.8 gigabytes in size using the new uh, Apple Lightning to SD card camera reader. And as you can see, I've sped this up a little bit, but it doesn't take long to import this file takes about 49 seconds or so. All right, so now I'm gonna hook up the old adapter. This is actually a jerry rig little thing I got here going. It's uh, an old 30 pin adapter that's hooked up to a 30 pin to lightning connector. And I have the SD card plugged into that, but it's still USB 2.0, that's the point. So although it's not a one-to-one -one comparison, I don't have the old Apple Lightning to SD card camera reader. This is close enough or as close as I can get not having that hardware. So you're going to see that this takes a lot longer than the new Lightning to SD card camera reader, a whole lot longer. We're already on a minute, 40 seconds, approaching two minutes here and it's still going. Now I know this isn't a scientific test, but I really don't need a scientific test to be able to confidently tell you that the new adapter is much faster than the old adapter. And if you have any sort of video or photo workflow going on with your iPad, then you should definitely treat yourself to one of these $29 adapters today. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.